A lot of people are sabotaging their weight loss goals with their snacking habits, and it's possible that you are one of them. Take this client of mine that I was talking to the other day, for example. When we first started working together, her nutrition throughout the day seemed pretty healthy. She was eating three main meals consistently, protein and veggies at each one, and she wasn't eating a lot of meals out at restaurants. But she was still not getting to her weight loss goals, and it was all because of what was happening in the evening. Almost every night when she got home from work, tired and exhausted, she'd sit in front of the TV for maybe a late night snack. Usually it was things like chips, crackers, maybe a few cookies, or a couple of granola bars. She found that she was so hungry in the evenings that she ended up eating hundreds of calories after she had already had her meals for the day. Has this ever happened to you? You're so good throughout the day that when nighttime comes, you become this whole new person who cannot seem to be satiated with anything. I feel you. Luckily, these problems have an easy fix, and it helped her, and it can also help you, and it involved changing a few things in your day or maybe your night. The only change we made was adding one to two high-protein snacks snacks during the day, between her meals, plus maybe one more snack before bed if she was still hungry. Now, she'd always thought that snacking between meals was bad, so she tried to avoid it before we started working together. Now, this client results are proof that when you choose your snacks smartly, it can be the secret to reaching your weight loss goals. Today, I'm going to be sharing 12 healthy and high-protein snack options that are the same snacks that I recommended to this client, and these snacks actually helped her lose 10 pounds very quickly and easily after making this change. So make sure you keep watching to find out what they are. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andres. If you haven't seen me before, and or this is your first time here watching one of my videos, I'm a registered dietitian who helps busy career-focused parents and professionals improve their nutrition, build better lifestyle habits, and reach our weight loss goals. So if that sounds like you, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I release a new video every single week. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out some of our previous ones that are jam-packed with good and applicable tips that you can implement immediately. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna be talking about snacks for weight loss because this is something that I get a ton of questions about. So let's get right into it. A lot of people think that snacking is automatically bad when you're trying to lose weight, but it's not actually not the snacks in general that are the problem. It's the type of snacks that you're choosing and how often you're eating them. Snacks only get in the way of weight loss when having them causes you to eat more calories than you're burning. This typically happens if you're having very calorie dense snacks or if you're constantly grazing throughout the day. There are other situations where snacking can actually be extremely beneficial for helping you reach your weight loss goals. I'm going to give you some specific snack recommendations. But before I get into those, I first want to explain when you should have snacks in a general formula for building snacks for weight loss and also clarifying some doubts and misconceptions about snacking. So first things first, there's a very simple rule for whether you should eat a snack. If you get hungry between meals, have a snack. It's much better to have a balanced snack when you're hungry rather than trying to wait for your next meal. Because if you're trying to ignore your hunger, you'll probably end up overeating the next time you sit down for a meal. The other situation would I recommend adding snacks through the day is if you find yourself having the same problem my client had in the story that I shared at the beginning of this video. If you're constantly overeating in evenings, you will probably benefit from more food during the day. So this could mean maybe eating larger meals or adding snacks between your meals. Let me explain why this is probably happening to you. If you're a busy bee throughout the day like most people, there's likely chances that you may be under eating. Maybe you're eating distracted and not prioritizing getting enough calories and protein. So when nighttime comes, your body's alarms go off because it's the one time in the day you actually have time to breathe and relax. Now at this point, your body wants fuel to fill in the energy deficit that you didn't give it throughout the day. The problem is you have an exhausted brain that does not think logically, but emotionally. This brain doesn't really feel like cooking and really just wants to relax and unwind. This is when cravings hit. They usually are connected to things like sugar and salt. These things make you happy. They soothe you. You don't believe me? When was the last time you had a piece of chocolate and hated that occasion? Exactly. Okay, now you know why and how this overeating at night happens. So let's get back into fixing this and how a snacking could help you. Let's say that you've decided you wanted to add some snacks into your day. The one main component of all the best snacks for weight loss is a source of protein. If you want to learn more about why protein is so important for fat loss, I'm going to link a video in the description box that will explain everything that you need to know about protein along with giving you a few simple high protein meal plans. But basically the reason protein is so important to include in your snacks is it helps you feel fuller for longer. So you 
naturally eat fewer total calories throughout the day. And this mainly happens because of the effect that protein has on your hormones that regulate your appetite. When you eat a snack that has a solid portion of protein in it, you'll usually find that you're not tempted to overeat the weight that you would if you were eating something like potato chips, which are mostly just carbs and fats. Another thing that's super helpful about protein is that studies have specifically shown that it can help reduce late night overeating, like the situation that I described before with my client. Take this study, for example, where a group of obese and overweight men felt more full and reduced late night eating or food intake late at night when consuming higher amounts of protein throughout the day. And the last advantage of protein is that it helps you maintain muscle mass when you're eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight. Muscle tissue burns a lot more calories. It requires a lot more blood flow, even when you're not moving or exercising. So when you have more muscle, it makes it easier for you to lose fat since your metabolic rate tends to be a little bit higher. Studies have even shown that the best results for preserving and gaining muscle mass happen when protein intake is evenly distributed throughout the day. So incorporating snacks is a great way to divide up your protein intake and hit your total daily goals. Now, the other snack component you want to think about in addition to protein is a fruit or a vegetable. Of course, this isn't necessary for every single snack, but fruits and veggies are going to add fiber and volume to your meals, to the snacks that you're consuming to make them more filling. And they're also a great source of micronutrients that your body really needs. So that's why many of the snack recommendations I'm going to give you in this video will probably include a fruit or a vegetable or a veggie. The last thing I want to share about snacks is that there is a common misconception that snacking or eating every two to three hours will speed up your metabolism. This is untrue. Your metabolism doesn't necessarily speed up because you eat more often. What tends to happen is you feel more full, so you tend to eat less throughout the day. So snacks are not necessary, but for many, it helps maintain hunger control. For others, three bigger meals usually helps with that. Now, of course, there's people that have diabetes and blood sugar issues and insulin resistance. That's a different story. We're talking for most healthy individuals. Okay, now it's time to go through my top high protein snacks that I promised you at the beginning of the video to help you feel more full and satisfied throughout the day and make it a lot easier for you to crush your weight loss goals. Some of these are going to be snack combos that you can make with very few simple ingredients, but I'm also going to add in a couple of my high favorite protein branded products that you can grab if you're on the go. I'm breaking this down into six sweet and six savory options. And most of these snacks have between 150 to 300 calories and at least 15 grams of protein. So let's get right into it, starting with the sweet. Snack number one, it's a Greek yogurt bowl. Now, I like to use this specific type of brand, Triple Zero by Oikos. It's a high protein, low sugar yogurt option, but there's a ton of others that you can probably find in your local supermarket. You're gonna add half a cup of chopped strawberries and two to three teaspoons or maybe one tablespoon of mini dark chocolate chips. This has about 16 grams of protein and around 150 to 200 calories, depending on the brand of yogurt that you're choosing. That's one of my favorite ones. Snack number two, I call it supercharged cereal. You're gonna take your favorite high protein, high fiber cereal. I prefer something like uh, Kashi Golin. You're gonna mix that up with maybe some frozen mixed berries, maybe half a cup or so, half a cup of the cereal. And then the milk that you're gonna use for the snack is gonna be a ready to drink protein shake, like a Core Power by Fairlife or something similar. When you do maybe like half of a bottle of those, you're gonna have a snack that is about 285 calories and has at least 20 grams of protein. Snack number three, pumpkin spice protein yogurt. It's perfect for this time of the year, which is fall. You're gonna add half a cup of pumpkin puree, plain and unsweetened, half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, non-fat, and half a cup of vanilla protein powder, a pinch of cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice, and this is gonna have about 150 calories and 25 grams of protein. Snack number four, it's a protein smoothie where you can just simply combine your favorite scoop of protein powder, add maybe a little bit of veggies like spinach for micronutrients, and have a cup of fruit of choice. And you can add a little bit of extra fiber by throwing in some chia seeds, maybe a couple of teaspoons. This smoothie is gonna have about 26 grams of protein and two to 300 calories, depending on the brand of protein powder that you choose and also the type of fruit that you're also choosing here. Stack number five is cottage cheese and fruit. Have a cup of cottage cheese, usually a 1% or 2% that has about 15 grams of protein. Have a cup of your food of choice. My favorite options include things like cantaloupe or mangoes or peaches, strawberries, blueberries, or blackberries. And this snack is gonna have about 150 to 200 calories, depending on, again, on the type of fruit that you're choosing and also the type of cottage cheese that you're choosing. And snack number six, it's Quest Hero Bars. Now, this is my favorite high protein snack when I want something quick that I can take with me. And again, this Quest Hero Bars are great. They have about 15 to 18 grams of protein in them and depending on the flavor. Now, my favorite flavor is this one, which is the chocolate caramel pecan. Honestly, this thing tastes like a Snickers bar. Maybe not the same, but something similar. Next up, here are my top six options for savory high protein snacks. Savory snacks are gonna be ideal for those people that just want or prefer salt and not necessarily something sweet. Snack number one, rice cakes with hummus 
and edamame. You're gonna take a couple of rice cakes, a couple of tablespoons of hummus, and maybe three to four cups of edamame. Put some on top of the rice cakes and have the rest on the side, maybe salt it or with maybe your preferred seasoning. This is gonna have about 16 grams of protein and 300 calories. Snack number two, tortilla chips and a cottage cheese dip. Here's what I like to do. I combine half a cup of cottage cheese, like a low fat option, with one to two tablespoons of salsa. And then you use a normal portion size of tortilla chips, maybe slices of bell peppers, and then you just dip them in there. It's super, super good. This is gonna have about 17 grams of protein and 240 calories. Again, really depends on your portion sizes and the type of tortilla chips that you're using. It really depends and vary based on brand. Stack number three is some form of beef jerky with veggies on the side. I like this brand called Chumps. You can have two Chumps beef jerky sticks. They have about 18 grams grams of protein and 180 calories and maybe some veggies on the side. Snack number four is a turkey wrap with a high protein tortilla. Turkey, maybe doing some Greek yogurt ranch dressing and a veggies of choice. Of course, this macros and calories are going to really depend on the brand of the tortilla that you're choosing. Snack number five is maybe veggies and Greek yogurt ranch dip. Here's how you're going to do this. You're going to take two thirds of a cup of Greek yogurt, a non-fat option, and you're going to combine it with a ranch powder. It's essentially a powder that you can buy. You can mix it in there and it actually gives the flavor of ranch. This is going to have about 17 grams of protein. The snack number six, I love these chips from Quest again, like they have a ton of great flavors and each one of them has like 18 to 20 grams of protein around 140 calories. To make this maybe even more of a balance and filling snack, I also like to add some chopped veggies or maybe a piece of fruit to go with it on the side. Okay, there you have it. 12 high protein snacks to help you reach your weight loss goals with sweet and savory options so you can choose whatever you're craving. What if you don't like these? I got you. Here's a simple mix and match system that you can use to pick high protein snacks that fit all your needs. And I'm going to put them on the screen to walk you through it. First, choose your protein options. Some examples of these include hard boiled eggs, Greek yogurt, edamame, some of the things that we just already discussed in here. Second, maybe choose a fruit or a veggie to make it more filling. Things like apples, pears, carrots, broccoli, or whatever you want to choose from this list. Again, feel free to pause the video so you can take note. And third, and this is an optional step, you can make it fun by adding maybe something sweet or a savory twist. If you want something sweet, you can choose options like raisins or dark chocolate chips, maybe jam. Or if you're more into savory items, you can choose things like tortilla chips. Now, again, careful with the portions, maybe hummus, crackers, maybe some roasted chickpeas. Now, a final reminder that if your goal is weight loss, it's extremely important to be aware of the total calories that you're having every day to make sure that you're staying in that calorie deficit that we have talked about in the past. The snacks can support you in maintaining a calorie deficit, but it's also essential to look at what you're eating for your main meals in the day as well. Well, the most accurate way to do this is taking a day to track what you're eating using an app like Chronometer or MyFitnessPal. This will help you know if you're on track with your weight loss goals. I hope this video was super helpful to you and you're walking away with some snacks ideas that you're going to really start using this week. Now, right now, I love it if you took just a quick second to leave a comment and let me know which of these snacks you're going to try first. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I come out with a new video every week that brings you all the tips and the strategies that you need to help you lose weight, but also to build a healthy lifestyle, even if weight loss is not your main goal. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. We just hit a thousand subscribers very recently, and we're super excited about that. So let's keep it going, and I'll see you in the next video.